What's up guys and welcome back to the channel and on today's video we are going to be looking at the Shox Open Run, specifically the Open Run Mini. So first things first, let me get some disclosures out of the way. Shox was kind enough to send me this pair of Open Run Mini for the purpose of review. However, what they didn't send me was an updated t-shirt. So all I've got is this old Aftershocks t-shirt and I put a bit of masking tape over, got a Sharpie, colored it in black and now you can see I've got the the new logo. And if you're wondering why I did that, well, Shox has recently dropped the after and they are now known just as Shox. I think that was a pretty good decision. Shox, Shox, rolls right off the tongue. But anyway, the name may be different or very slightly different, but the headphones are still, still pretty good. In fact, if you have watched any of my other reviews of Shox or after Shox headphones, you already know I'm a bit of a fanboy. Come to think of it, that could be the reason why Shox reached out and wanted me to review these. Anyway, let's get into it. If you are looking for a pair of Shox Open Run, the regular Open Run are exactly the same as the Open Run Mini, except the Mini are a bit smaller. We're gonna get into that in just a second. Let's take a look and see what's in the box. Shox always does pretty well with their packaging and we just slide off the cover. We get a nice box. First thing you see is the headphones itself. Let's take those out. We are obviously going to be looking a little deeper at these in just a second, but you also get, once you remove this cover and pull out this little box, oh, there is a warranty card right inside. And this is kind of important. The headphones do have a two year warranty, but just to be clear, I have had other Shox headphones for over two years and I've never had any problems with them, but it's still good to know that they back up their product. Anyway, if you open this little box, you pull out the carry case. And I guess this is just a nice little baggie You'd put the headphones right in there just to protect them. But honestly, these headphones are so resilient that I have never once used the protective carry case. I usually just throw these in a bag, pull them out when I need them, and I haven't broken them yet. Inside the bag, they give you a user's guide, some legal mumbo jumbo, and of course, the charging cable. Now the charging cable is proprietary, and I'm leaning forward so I can get you a good view of the headphones and the charging cable and see how they connect. Oh. Yes, that's right, it's magnet. I know how much you all love magnets. And there is another little feature to this charging cable and the headphone. It also has moisture detection alert. And basically what that means is the headphones alert you when there is moisture on the charging point and it won't charge the headphones and potentially ruin them. Let's do a little experiment, see how it works. It's beeping and it's flashing red and blue, telling me, danger, danger, stop charging. So I will pull that off and just be happy that that was a pretty good experiment. It worked exactly how it's supposed to. Usually I do make sure that they are dry before I plug them in to charge. So I hadn't actually tested that moisture detection alert before now. The Shox Open Run are $130 here in the US. They are £130 in the UK. And let me just put it out there that this represents incredible value for a pair of sports headphones. I know I'm jumping all around the place and I just thought to myself, maybe this is the first time that you have heard of bone conduction headphones. Well, let me give you a little introduction as I put them on my head. They slide right over your head and this titanium band wraps around your head and the transducers rest right in front of your ears. This is key. Because the transducers are resting right in front of your ears, it is leaving your ears open to hear the sounds all around you. So perhaps you're running on the road, you need to hear cars coming. Perhaps you're just out enjoying nature and you wanna hear the birds. And the babbling brook where you can because your ears are open. The sound from the shocks open run comes through vibrations going through your cheekbones and entering your inner ear. It is absolutely fantastic and quite frankly it is the only headphones that I would recommend to anyone if you are doing sports outside. Now I'll be honest it's not all rainbows and unicorns. I'm going to give you a couple of the downsides of having your ears open in just a second. So you already know you can buy the open run in two sizes. We have the standard size and the mini. This is the standard size and this is the mini. They are very difficult to tell apart when you're looking from this angle. But the mini is actually 0.83 inches or 21 millimeters smaller than the regular standard size. And that just means that the band that goes around the back of your head, that's a bit small. And Shox gives a recommendation on their site on how to measure your head so you make sure you are buying the right size for you. And ultimately you measure the space between the back of your ears. And if that distance is greater than nine and a quarter inches or 23.49 centimeters, you should probably go with the standard size. If that distance between the back of your ears is equal to or less than nine and a quarter inches or equal to or less than 23.49 centimeters, the mini are gonna fit you better. I had to measure myself and I'm right on the cusp. The distance between my ears is nine and one eighth inches. So I'm within an eighth of an inch difference from choosing the standard size. I gotta tell you, up until a couple of weeks ago when I received the mini, I'd only used the standard size and I probably still will moving forward. And really that's because I have a wife and she has a much smaller head than me and the mini fit her like a charm. And this is a good representation of the size because with the standard size, 
When you put them around your ears, the band, obviously, it's a little longer than the Mini, it sticks out just a little bit on the back. And you can see here with my wife Harmony, when she has the standard on, she didn't quite know what to do with the braids. This is her with the braids over the top of the standard size open run, and this is her with the braids underneath the band of the Shox open run. Now we look at my wife wearing the Shox Mini, and you can see immediately that there is no option to tuck the braids inside the band of the headphones. It just fits nicely around the back of her head. So if you are like me and you are really just on the cusp of not knowing which one to choose, you can definitely choose either or, depending on what you fancy. Both will fit you perfectly. Okay, let's get into a few specs. The Shox Open Run features Shox 8th generation bone conduction technology. I have tried other brands bone conduction headphones and without exception, I have sent every one of them back because their sound quality is just not even good enough for anything. And that's high praise for Shox. So some of the things that I think bone conduction headphones would not be good for is things like listening to music when you're on an aircraft. There's a lot of ambient noise from the engines and you will find in that situation that it will drown out the music that you're listening to on the headphones. Of course, there is an easy way to solve this. You could just put in earplugs and that does kind of defeat the purpose because one of the best things about the Shox Open Run is that your ears are still open and perhaps you're someone that doesn't like putting things in their ears. These headphones are going to work like a charm for you. You're obviously not going to want to go and put earplugs in to use these headphones, but the option's there. And there are other things where they wouldn't be ideal, like anywhere where there's a lot of exterior noise going on. That exterior noise blocks out the music from the headphones. But that's about it. For most other situations, especially when you're out for a run, especially, especially if you're out for a bike ride, you need to be aware of your surroundings. And that is where the Shox Open Run is really worth its weight in gold. The Shox Open Run features their premium pitch 2.0 plus. The Open Run has Bluetooth 5.0, and an eight hour battery life with a quick charge feature. And the quick charge feature is when you plug it in for 10 minutes, you get an hour and a half of listening time. But there's something about the eight hour battery life that I just want to bring up. Because I think Shox is kind of hedging their bets. So one day when I went to work, I turned them on and I left them on for 11 hours. I started an audiobook, so I knew how long I was actually listening to something. And that time was about eight hours and 22 minutes. But remember, they were on for 11 hours. And when I got home and I turned them off, I immediately turned them back on. Because when you turn them back on, Audrey, the voice assistant that you're going to hear coming through the headphones told me that the battery was still at medium. I then went out the next day for a two hour run and I had them on the whole time and I was listening to several podcasts. When I got back from that run, the headphones had still not died. But now when I turned them off and then turned them back on to get the battery notification, Audrey was telling me that the battery was low. By this point, my battery anxiety is getting the better of me and I plugged them into charge. But all that to say this, for me, it was considerably more than eight hours. Take that for what it's worth. One of the best features, in fact, I think it is my favorite feature of the Shox Open Run, and that is its waterproof rating. It is rated to IP67. And because the Shox Open Run are rated to IP67, the number seven means that these can be submerged up to a meter in depth for up to 30 minutes. That is huge. I don't want to worry about being caught in the rain. I want to be able to not worry about them. In fact, when I come home, I just rinse them under the tap and then I wipe them off, get all my gross sweat off them and they're good to go for the next time. Now, Shox does point out that these are not made for swimming. They have other headphones that are made specifically for swimming. But let's say you were out for a run and you were running along the side of a pool and you fell in. You don't have to worry about your headphones. That by far is my favorite things about the open run. Just briefly, Shox says that the open run mini weigh in at 26 grams when I put them on the scale they tip the scale at 25 grams that is definitely in the right direction okay let's talk about some other features that you might not know about you might not have heard about the Shox Open Run does feature multi-point pairing which means you can pair it to two devices at the same time which is a great boost for productivity so I can pair them to my laptop and I can pair it to my phone and I can be editing videos on my laptop and listening to that and when a phone call comes in all I have to do is hit this multi-function button on the side and answer the phone call but you do have to activate the multi point pairing. Another feature of the Shox Open Run that I don't hear a lot of people talking about, and that is the ability to switch between standard mode and vocal booster mode. Now, one of the upgrades that they give the Open Run Pro is that they have an app and the app can control the headphones and you can change it between standard and vocal booster mode and you can actually update the firmware of the Open Run Pro. Now, the regular Open Run, they don't have the app, but you can still change between standard and vocal booster mode. And to do that, you simply hold the up and the down buttons together simultaneously and you'll hear Audrey come over your head and say standard mode or vocal booster mode. And I should explain that standard mode is what you would use for music and vocal booster mode is what you would be more likely to use if you're listening to audiobooks or podcasts because as the name implies, it boosts the vocal side of the audio. Okay, up until this point, we have talked about listening to music, listening to audiobooks, listening to podcasts, but you're obviously going to be pairing this to your phone. And that means that you may have to take a phone call. So right now you are listening to me on the Shox Open Run. How does this sound? 
I'm using the mics on the side of my head. Now you should know that there is no wind noise right now. So what you're hearing right now is a pretty good representation of what you might hear if I'm talking to you on the phone. Now let's go outside and see how it is outside in some real world environments. Perhaps when you're out running on the trails and you really need to make that phone call. Uh, this is an audio test of the shocks open run. How does it sound? The sound from the headphones is coming straight to the camera now. And I can hear a little wind in my ears, so I know there's a little breeze. And I'd like to know, how does it sound when it comes across to you? Can you hear the water running down the creek? How do my footfalls sound? Right now I'm running on a kind of a shell trail. So clearly it's not like a dedicated studio microphone. It isn't like holding the phone up to your ear and speaking into it. But you know what? It does the job. Let's just talk about button functionality for a second. So the Shox Open Run are controlled by three buttons. You have a volume up button and a power button, a volume down button. On the transducer on the left hand side, you have a multi-function button. This is where you play and pause music. This is where you answer and hang up phone calls. But I want you to realize how rare it is for headphones to have a volume control. And that is another one of my favorite features because I can just reach up and I can turn up the volume or turn it down. I don't have to pull my phone out of a pocket in order to adjust the volume. I should also mention that if you press and hold the multi-function button, you can control your digital assistant. As far as range goes, the Shox Open Run have a range of 33 feet or about 10 meters. Now, I know most people listen to music when they run, when they go out on the bike, when they do activities. I wanna hear from you. I wanna know what type of headphones you generally use. If you already use a pair of Shox headphones, I definitely wanna hear from you. If you don't have a pair of bone conduction headphones and you're thinking of buying a pair and you have a few more questions, go ahead and drop me a comment. I'm glad to explain anything that you haven't got out of this video. And I'm pretty sure I've left some stuff out, but that's okay, that's what the comment section's for. All right guys, thanks for staying all the way to the end of the video. Of course, I will provide links to where you can buy your own pair of Shox open runs in the comments below. Be kind, be happy, run well. I'll see you in a couple of days.